Welcome back, Layer X Bulls, to the official Layer X YouTube channel. We started off the year of 2024 with an absolute banger of a month. January has set the precedent for the things that we are going to be able to achieve in the year of 2024. And if Layer X can live up to the hype that has been created in the month of January, then we are without a doubt in for Layer X's best year yet. From hosting talks with some of the biggest up and coming industry leading ecosystems in the space to unveiling the aspirational 2024 roadmap for the Layer X ecosystem and all of our beloved products within said ecosystem. As per usual, we're first going to start by looking at some of the more broad things that the Layer X ecosystem was able to achieve, and then we're going to delve a little deeper into the individual products, B Pro Network and Taikai. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, The Constar, and let's jump straight into it. So we're going to first kick it off with some new additions to the Web3 ecosystem map that Layer X and Masterblocks partnered up with in order to bring to us, mapping out all of the fantastic companies that were involved within the Web3 space in Portugal. Some of you may already be familiar with just how prominent Portugal is becoming in the Web3 space and that they are quickly becoming one of the leading countries in terms of innovation within the blockchain space. And in the most recent monthly report blog on the official Layer X website, check it out if you haven't, Patricia has some comments around the Web3 ecosystem map. After publishing the map, we are overwhelmed by the positive response from the community and suggestions of new additions to the list, which we evaluated and cross-checked against the acceptance criteria. After reviewing all of the new applications, we have added a few more companies to the list that we believe will keep making significant contributions to the Web3 Portuguese ecosystem in 2024. We also hosted two very exciting talks over on the official Layer X Twitter page in the form of our Layer X Talks events. We first started off with a Layer X Talks with the Starkware ecosystem, which is quickly becoming an industry leading player in the Web3 space. And this talk was mainly focused around the anticipation of their winter hackathon happening over in the Taikai platform, which is a massive initiative and collaboration between the Starkware ecosystem and Layer X. But more on that hackathon once we get to the Taikai section of the video. We also hosted a Layer X talks with Miguel Lurez, who is the founder of Pulsar Finance, as well as the head of product at the Terra ecosystem. Many of you will be already familiar with the Terra ecosystem, but one of the things you may not know about the Terra ecosystem is that they are making a comeback, like a phoenix from the ashes. And during this Layer X talks, they discuss some of the common challenges about building different dApps and many other opportunities whilst building on the Terra ecosystem. Now, I'm sure many of you will be very excited to hear that because we know the Layer X ecosystem is the perfect place for solving many of these common problems that users may face while trying to build different dApps. Miguel also expressed some interest in running a Terra themed hackathon for the Terra ecosystem. And it does not take a genius to put two and two together on what that just might mean. We know that the Taikai platform is the best hackathon platform on the market. But whilst nothing is official, from the Layer X talks, I got the vibe that we may be hearing more about the Layer X ecosystem and the Terra ecosystem in the year of 2024. Exciting stuff. I also think it's important to bring up that during this talks, whilst Mario was talking to Miguel, it seemed that they were already familiar with one another, that they already have a close friendship between one another. And to me, this points out just how connected our CEO really is in the Web3 space. Mario continues to surprise me with just how big of connections he has in the Web3 space. We really are primed to create partnerships with the biggest ecosystems in the space. And now my personal favorite thing that happened in the month of January for the Layrex ecosystem was the unveiling, the aspirational roadmap for every aspect of the Layrex ecosystem. During this live stream, we had the heads of all the individual sectors of the Layrex ecosystem come together to unveil their vision of their sector of the Layrex ecosystem. And now this roadmap is very, very extensive. And they unveiled some seriously, seriously exciting goals that they would like to achieve in the year of 2024. Multiple team members expressed just how ready the BPO Network platform is for mass adoption and that development wise, it is at a very mature state. And that one of their main goals of 2024 for the BPO Network platform is to transition one of their very large Web2 clients from the Taikai platform into Web3 using the BPO Network platform, which is absolutely 
insane. We will be one of the first ecosystems in the space to do just that. They also stated that by the end of 2024, they plan on having the vast majority of the Taikai Garden white paper completed and that the Taikai Garden will be fully operational and being utilized by many different ecosystems within the space. And for those of you that understand exactly how the Taikai Garden is going to work and how it is going to be embedded within all of the other products within the Layer X ecosystem, hearing this will get you so excited for the year of 2024. It is going to fundamentally take the Layer X ecosystem to the next level. There is no other ecosystem in the space that is structured like the Layer X ecosystem. And in terms of adoption, the Taikai Garden is going to take the Layer X ecosystem to unfathomable heights. Obviously, we don't have time to go over the extensive roadmap in this recap video. However, if you have even the slightest interest in the Layer X ecosystem, you need, and I mean need, to familiarize yourself with the goals laid out in this 2024 roadmap. And to do so, you can either check out one of the archived live streams of the 2024 roadmap on the various Layer X platforms. You could also check out the blog post summarizing all of the main points from the 2024 roadmap. Or over on my channel, I published an extensive summary of all of the important points and goals that were laid out in the 2024 roadmap. So feel free to pick whatever suits you best, but you have to familiarize yourself with this roadmap because some of the things in it will just blow your mind. Now, shifting the focus to the Bpro Network platform, we had the release of the version of 2.19, which was a massive revamp to the overall UI and UX of the Bpro platform, as well as improving some of the background processes that we don't see as general users. We know that the LayerX team has expressed that they want to have the most easily accessible platform on the market and that we must have a professional feel to all of our products. And as you can see, if we check out the platform, there's been a massive overhaul to the overall browsing experience of all of the tasks found within the individual marketplaces on the Beeple Network platform. You can view all of the different tasks from all of the different marketplaces, irrespective of what network you're connected to. You can see that whilst on the explore page, browsing all of the different tasks found within the individual marketplaces, you can see not just the logo of the marketplace, but the network that the task is also launched on. These very meticulous changes to the Beepro Network platform is what is going to separate us from any competing products that may pop up on the market, as we will have the most professional platform on the market. Now, let's close it off with the Taikai section of the video. We mentioned earlier that Starkware's Winter Hackathon is a very large event, but it's important you know just how large it really is. It is a three-week-long event where we had 10 separate Starkware ecosystem projects hosting prizes during this hackathon, as well as 11 prizes given out from the official Starkware team, totaling at a price pool of 50000 US dollars, which is absolutely insane. But do you know what else is insane? This event was able to draw in over 390 individual participants. How insane is that? The Taikai platform is continuing to prove that it is the best hackathon platform on the market, and it will continue to host some of the largest hackathon events in the world. And once the Taikai Garden is fully up and running, we will be able to truly take advantage of these gigantic hackathons by transitioning these projects into all of the other products found within the Layer X ecosystem. Seriously, seriously exciting stuff. And last, but certainly not least, the Tikai token was listed on its first centralized exchange, that exchange being MXC, which is absolutely critical to executing the Taikai Garden roadmap as they are continuing to increase the liquidity and accessibility of the Tikai tokens in anticipation of the Taikai Garden. To quote our CEO and co-founder Mario Alves, when selecting a centralized exchange, several critical factors must be weighed. Reputation, regulatory compliance, user base size, community engagement, liquidity, and trading volume. MXC stands out as our premier choice for a centralized exchange listing, thanks to its established reputation in the cryptocurrency market and ranking among the top 20 exchanges by CoinGecko. MXC's robust and active community synergizes with ours, creating a promising foundation for mutual success. 
The main takeaway from the listing of the TKI tokens is that it demonstrates to you just how committed the Leo X team is in executing the Taikai Garden roadmap. I've said it once and I'll say it again and will continue to say it. The Taikai Garden is going to increase the adoption of all aspects of the Layer X ecosystem immeasurably. Please, if you aren't familiar already with just what the Taikai Garden roadmap is, you need to check it out. And that just about does it for a very brief overview of the things that we were able to achieve in the month of January. Like I said before, the 2024 roadmap is very, very extensive. And if you haven't already, you have to check it out. There were so many different things that was unveiled in this 2024 roadmap that we didn't get to cover in today's recap video. And for a closing comment from the official LayerX team about what we can expect in the coming months, next month, we will keep working closely with our partners and clients to provide you with the most incredible hackathon experiences. We've also been working behind the scenes to improve our products and establish new partnerships that will benefit the LayerX ecosystem. Stay tuned as we'll disclose more details in the upcoming weeks. For those of you that are familiar with the 2024 roadmap, you will know that they said there's going to be a big focus on cross marketing of our partners communities with ours and i'm assuming that is exactly what they're referencing in the closing comment as always if you haven't already make sure you follow layer x and all of their products relevant social media pages as well as joining the official layer x discord and telegram channels they're a fantastic place to be if you love discussing the layer x ecosystem if you have any questions around anything that we covered in today's recap video or any questions in general about the layer x ecosystem as a whole then please feel free to reach out to either myself in the comment section of the video or some of the community members or official team members in the official layer x discord and telegram channels and with all that being said i've been your host the constar and i'll see you in the next one layer x balls